What's up guys, today I'm back with yet another After Effects tutorial teaching you guys how to add some character to your animation turning this simple animation into something more like this Right, so let us first set up our scene Create a new solid Pick any color you like and hit OK now we need to create a square. We do this by selecting our rectangle tool and simply double clicking on the button. This creates a full screen shape layer. We need to tweak this a little by altering the size. Drop down the rectangle path and unlink the size property. Change it to 200 by 200 pixels. Great, select your square layer and change the anchor point to the bottom. We do this by selecting the pan behind tool over here or by pressing Y on your keyboard. Click on the anchor point located in the middle of the square and press and hold command. Now drag the anchor point down to the bottom until it snaps into place. Position the square down a little bit because we want it to jump up a little. To create a jumping motion we animate the position. Press P on the keyboard and click on the little stopwatch icon in front of the property. Go to frame 12 and drag your square up. Now go to 1 second and copy over the first keyframe. The animation right now looks a bit boring, nor does it really follow any rules of gravity, so we need to change that. Imagine throwing something in the air. At first it has some velocity to it, but it slowly slows down until it reaches the highest point. And then it accelerates down again, gaining speed the longer it falls. To recreate that effect, we select our three keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and select easy ease. This is a little bit better, but we need to make some alterations in the speed graph in order to get what we want. With the keyframe selected, turn on your graph editor and make sure you're in the speed graph mode. Select the middle point and drag the left handle to the left and the right handle to the right. We can see now that at first it has a lot of speed and then it slows down and ramps up again. And congratulations, we sort of simulated gravity. Within the context of this animation, we call this motion our primary animation. It's our basic movement from point A to point B and then back again. In order to spice up this animation, we need to add some secondary animations. Secondary animations are the movement generated in anticipation or in reaction to our primary animation. Well, that sounds all fancy and stuff, but what does that mean? Well, have you seen Jello? Try moving that around. You can see it being all wobbly even after finishing the movement. No, well, that's what we call secondary movement. The primary movement is moving the plate from point A to point B and whatever else happens to the jelly is the secondary. How does that translate to our little square? Have you guys ever tried jumping? The way I do it is uh, dropping a bit through my knees and lowering my torso and then when I actually jump I elongate myself and then when I hit the ground I lower myself again because my feet hit the ground first uh, but my body still has some momentum left and then after that I go back to normal. So in short the square needs to get a bit shorter and then during our movement upwards it elongates and then reverse. Select our square layer and hold shift and press S. This pulls up our scale options next to the position. We need to make some room for the anticipation of our jump so we just slide over our position keyframes to about one second. Move your current time indicator back 10 frames and you can easily do that by holding shift, command and press the left arrow. Now unlink the scale and hit the stopwatch. Move over to the 1 second mark and lower the second variable to 80%. Move over to the next keyframe and change it to 120%. Next keyframe change it back to 80% and then 10 frames further change it back to 100%. Select all of your skill keyframes and easy ease them by right clicking keyframe assistant easy ease. Right now the animation looks a bit rubbish because the timing does not line up very well. We can change this in the speed graph. We are going to mimic the speed of the position keyframes. Select one in the middle and drag the left handle to the left and the right handle to the right. Now you will notice that you have to drag it two times. That's because the first handle you select is the first value and the second one is the second value. No worries, that's just the way it is. Previewing this animation shows us that it still does not completely line up because the elongate motion is a little bit too soon. So select the first two keyframes and move them over two frames. 
and we also need to tweak the shrinking motion a bit. Select the last three keyframes and move them over two frames as well. There's only one thing left we need to add and that's mass. Imagine the square as a balloon. When you squish it down, the mass needs to go somewhere. You see, it gets wider. That would also mean that when it elongates, it gets slimmer. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what all square needs to be doing. Let's go to a second scale keyframe. The square is squished, thus it needs to be wider. We do this by changing the first variable to 120%, next one to 80%, and the third one to 80 again. And now we've got this square who is really trying to reach something, but it's sort of failing. Well guys, did you like this video? If you did, check out one of my other videos and consider subscribing because there's more to come.